Hi, I'm Neil White, Editor and General Manager of Waxahachie Newspapers, coming to you from the Propel Studio. Here are a few of the stories we're working on for tomorrow's edition. We're working on several breaking news stories, including an overnight fire that left the Midlothian family homeless and in need of assistance. We're also following a truck rollover crash that happened this morning at the intersection of Starrett Road and I-35E. Andrew Bronca is in Ennis this morning, covering Congressman Joe Barton, who is working behind the counter at an area business. Be sure to pick up Tuesday's paper to read all about the congressman's experience working in the real world. We also have a story on Waxahachie-based Americase, celebrating the company's 30th anniversary producing world-class, I should, suppose I should say universe-class cases, seeing as how the company supplies specialty cases for NASA. Rita Cook also has a story on eight-year-old Kalana Dixon from Glen Heights, who has just been named to the 2015 National Jumpstart Team for Gymnastics. These are just a few of the stories our newsroom is working on. Remember to visit our website at waxhatchytx.com to stay up to the minute with all the breaking news and latest developments going on in Ellis County. The Daily Light and waxhatchytx.com, your leading source for news, information, and advertising. Today's update is brought to you by Propel, our full line of digital marketing products helping local businesses reach their customers on the World Wide Web. With Propel, we help clients look as good as the nationals and more local. Contact your Daily Light advertising executive today for more information. I'm Neil White, and thanks for making us part of your daily routine. We'll see you in the newspaper.